here is a demo that showcases one of the pipelines that we developed during the first year of the Kubrick project. The goal is to analyze a video collection in order to retrieve the occurrences of logos of a given brand. At the same time, we would like to emphasize the seamless integration between machine-executed and human-executed tasks. Let's start with an example, looking for occurrences of logos of the brand Cheerios. Upon submitting the query, we can see the results computed by the content processing pipeline that we implemented. On the right-hand side, we see different versions of the Cheerios logo, which were downloaded from a text-based image search engine. With a scroller, we are able to choose a number of logo examples to be used for content-based matching. By selecting a logo, we can highlight the corresponding match in the video collection and play the clip containing it. Matches are grouped in three classes based on their confidence level. We distinguish between good matches, uncertain matches, and rejected matches. At the bottom, we can see a timeline, which will be used later to better illustrate the impact of human-executed tasks. Let's submit a second query for the brand Aleve. In this case, the query has not been submitted before and the brand has not been indexed yet. Hence, in background, our system performs the following actions. First, it retrieves occurrences of different logos from a text-based image search engine. Then, it uploads the images to the data service and submits requests for human-executed tasks to the Kubrick Conflict Manager in order to filter out non-relevant logos. Finally, it extracts visual features from each retrieved logo. Then, the video collection is processed to search for matches. Here, we see the logos which were retrieved in the meanwhile for the brand Aleve. We observe that some of them are non-relevant, whereas some of them are. Once matching is completed, other requests for human-executed tasks are submitted to Conflict Manager to validate the matches. Back to the console, we observe that some of the retrieved logos were non-relevant, thus generating matches which were classified as uncertain. In addition, there are some good matches that are classified as uncertain, as well as wrong matches. Let's consider a third query for the brand Hefty. In this case, we submitted a query for the first time a while ago so that we can observe the output of human executed tasks. The final result is nice and clean, containing only relevant logos and matches. By means of the timeline, we can jump back in time right after the machine executed content processing pipeline was completed. We observe some non-relevant logos, which incidentally generate wrong matches. Then, we can fast forward up to a point when logos are validated by human workers. Validation is performed using an interface similar to this. The conflict manager gathers the input provided by human workers so as to determine a logo image is relevant to the brand or not. Here we see some of our workers in action. They are asked to indicate whether the logos they see are relevant to the brand. Validation can also be performed on a mobile device. On the right hand side, we see the log representing the input collected from human workers. In this way, we can re rank the logos according to this input, thus eliminating wrong matches due to non relevant logos. Clicking on a timeline, we can visualize the log of the input received during logo validation. Yet, there are some uncertain matches that need to be validated, including both good and wrong matches.
Hence, we can go ahead to a point when matches were validated by human workers. We observe that the match is now correctly classified and the wrong match was moved to the rejected matches. We can also see the crowd log collected using match validation. Here, for each logo keyframe matching pair, we can see the input collected from human workers and its evolution over time.